Hey guys, welcome to yet another tutorial on Spring AOP. In the previous few tutorials, we have written an aspect, we have written some advice methods, and we have written point cuts to uh, configure those advice methods to run at particular points in the execution. Uh, this tutorial will look at uh, some of the point cut expressions. Uh, we covered a few uh, ways in which we can write point cut expressions. We're gonna, I'm going to cover a few other uh, topics related to how we can write point cut expressions and we'll also look at some of the best practices when it comes to writing point cut expressions in a real world application. We saw the execution point cut expression. So you uh, write a point cut where you say you want the point cut to be the execution of a particular method or a set of methods. Then what happens is Spring will advise those methods and then these advice uh, methods will run before those methods get executed. But there are other ways in which we can um, write such point cut expressions uh, depending on the need and the complexity you can choose one or the other. So execution is just one of them. I'll uh, quickly talk about a few others now. So let's take the example of the circle class. Now let's say I have a requirement that I want to write an advice that applies to all the methods inside the circle class. So uh, let's say I want this logging advice to get executed for all the circle class methods. Now the way I can do that is of course by writing a point cut expression which is something like this at point cut execution of now, irrespective of whether it's a public or anything else, irrespective of the return type and uh, irrespective of the method name and irrespective of the parameters. All that I need to say is only methods of the circle. So for that, all I do is I say circle dot star. So what I'm saying is, I'm not specifying whether it's a public or uh, protected or whatever. I'm not specifying whether it's returning a string or a boolean, no matter whatever is the return type. I'm just saying for this class, no matter what the method name is, and no matter what the parameters are, I want a point cut to be created for that. So now I can write this point cut as all circle methods. It's a descriptive name to give for this point cut. Now I can use this point cut and I can advise, you know, I can configure my logging advice to run for all the point cuts which have been defined for this all circle methods. Well, there's another way we can do this and uh, that is, let me remove this. It's by using a point cut expression called within. Within lets us specify a particular class uh, within which you want this point cut to apply for all the methods. So let's say I want a point cut to apply for all the methods within the circle. Then what I do is I specify within and I give the class name again. Okay, so now what I'm, what happens is this point cut will apply to all the methods within the circle class. So it, no matter if you have a hundred methods here, it's going to apply for all those methods. Now, what's the advantage of doing something like this? First of all, it's more uh, readable. You know, if you write an execution, you would think of the point cut being definition for which execution that you're concerned about. But if you're uh, writing a within, it's obvious that you want this point cut to get executed for all methods within something. So this is kind of, uh, you know, uh, documents what you're trying to do here. So uh, this is a better way to use it if you have 
some use case like this. And of course, the uh, the other things that we discussed about the wildcards and uh, all the other concepts still apply for within. Now, let's say I want uh, to apply this point cut for all the methods of all the objects inside my um, model package. Now, let's say I have a few other classes over here and I want the point cut to apply for all the classes and all the methods of those classes inside the model package. So in that case, what I can do is I can use a star over here, which means it applies for all the classes inside the model package. Now, if I have sub uh, packages over here, now let's say I have another package inside it and I want this to apply for the classes inside the sub package as well, then I do a dot dot here. Again, just like the dot dot inside uh, a method parameter, what the star dot says is it can be the class at the root package or it can be sub packages. So it's zero or more. That's what the dot dot means. So this makes sure that your point cut is configured for all the classes in, in the package as well as in the sub packages. So I'll change this back to circle. So this still applies. Now, so now this point cut is for all the circle methods. So one thing to note here is that within takes the parameter as the class or a wildcard that describes classes, whereas execution takes the parameter as uh, method names or wildcards that describe method names. So here you see parameter is a circle or you can have a dot star but it all means class names so it is within classes so that's the reason why the argument has to define class names whereas when you look at execution you're actually writing about method names so this is a good distinction to make so I'll save this so apart from within there are a few other uh, point cut expressions that you can use uh, I'll just quickly go over some of them and then um, you can actually look at the Spring documentation for more details. I would not be going through examples for each of them, but I'll just introduce you to them so that you can uh, look it up in the documentation. So the next point cut expression that we will talk about is something called as args. So args stands for arguments that you want your methods to have for which you need to apply your point cut expression. Now, uh, the typical usage for this is, let's say you want to apply a point cut expression for all methods that take a circle as a parameter. So in that case, you would write the circle class over here. So again, args would take class names or interfaces as parameters and you can have multiple arguments over here. So what Spring is gonna do is it's gonna look for methods that match these arguments and then if a method matches all the arguments that you've specified over here then it's going to catch those methods and then this point cut is going to apply for that particular method and uh, there are a couple more uh, target and uh, this and in order to understand that we need to understand about uh, proxied objects when it comes to AOP we haven't covered that in this tutorial yet so I'm not going to take those examples here uh, Again, this is something that you can refer to once you have gone through the other tutorial which talks about, uh, which talks about spring proxied objects when it comes to aspect-oriented programming. Okay, so now, um, before I wind up, I'd like to tell you one particular best practice when it comes to writing point cut expressions. It's highly recommended that you use this best practice whenever possible. And uh, the idea here is to mix and match point cut expressions and combine point cut expressions rather. Uh, what I mean by combining point cut expressions is something like this. Take the example where I want a point cut for all the getters of the circle. We've already seen how to do this. Okay, what we need to do is we need to specify the, you know, a point cut execution and then you specify the class name dot get star and then that would catch all the getters of the circle class. But then say you have already written code for these kind of point cuts. Now let's say you have you already have these two point cuts. One point cut for catching all the getters in your code and another point cut for catching all the methods 
inside your circle class. So if you have these two point cuts already, then you now if you have to write a point cut to catch all getters inside a circle, uh, the best way to do this is by actually combining these two point cuts. When I say combining, you have to write all getters and all circle methods. So all the logical operations work and or not are the common operations which, which we can use in order to specify these point cut expressions. Now let's say I want logging advice to run for all getters and all circle methods. So the way to do that is by using something like this, all getters and all circle methods. So what we are doing is we are actually writing individual components of these point cuts. You know, these are uh, the pieces that you're gonna put together in order to specifically configure your point cut. So this is a very modular way of writing your point cut expressions. And uh, this is a good practice if you have a lot of uh, point cuts in your code and even otherwise, it's a good thing to do. You, uh, you know, write separate point cuts which are modular and then you combine them in your point cuts depending on where you want your advice to be applied. So I will save this and let's try to run this and see what happens. Now I'm doing a shape service dot get circle dot get name. So uh, what should happen is the logging advice should run only once because the getter, this applies only for getters of the circle and there's only one getter of the circle running. However, if you look at the second advice, this applies to all getters. So the second advice should run twice because you have two getters that are getting called here. One getter is the get circle and another getter is the get name. So again, locking advice should run only once and then the second advice should run twice. So let's execute and see what happens. There you go, second advice has been executed once the logging advice once and then the second advice again and then the actual output. So this logging advice has been called once because we have restricted it to getters of the circle. So this will not trigger the logging advice, There's only this will trigger it and that's because you have done an and and uh, this advice will be applicable only if both these point cuts apply. So this way you can actually chain as many point cuts as you want and uh, even here, you have a lot of flexibility and a lot of ways in which we can uh, configure your point cuts.